All right, guys, welcome back. And now that we got the majority of our code taken care of, we can now finally set up the threading. Now, remember, in this program, we basically want to split it into two tasks that are going to run at the same time. The first thread is just going to be sitting, waiting, and handling connections. So whenever a new computer connects, it takes it and adds it to the list. Now, the other thread is the part where we interact with the turtle where we can look at all the connections and we can select a computer and then we can send it commands. So we basically have a program that does two things at once. So if you guys are unfamiliar with threading in Python, I'll give you guys a really simple overview of how it works and it will take like 20 seconds. Basically, each thread is like a worker. Now, once you have a bunch of workers, you pretty much give it a to-do list. So you can actually have eight different threads and have like 200 items on your to-do list. And then each worker is gonna do an item and then go to the next one, do an item, go to the next one. So the more threads you have, um, the faster your entire job gets done. So what I will do now is pretty much just set it up that way. Now, like I said, you can have like eight threads, you can have like 32, however many you want. But for us, we only need two. We only need two workers, one of them, is going to do job number one, which is handling connections, and the other one is going to do job number two, which allows us to interact. So I'll say create a worker threads. So that's what's going to happen. I'll say define create workers. So basically, all we're going to do in this function is create the threads, create those things that are going to work. So I'll say for underscore in range number of threads. So you know before what I did is I added this constant and set it equal to two. Well, that is because we wanna create a bunch of workers. How many do we wanna create? Two. Now, the reason I like having this at the top is because pretty much all my programs I make using threads are the same. And if we ever wanna create eight workers, we don't have to come down here and find it again. We just have to change that constant at the top. So basically, all this loop is going to do is just loop through two times. So you make a thread the same way every time. So just don't like write this code and call the function like over and over and over again. So I'll show you guys how to make a thread. Just make a variable. I name it T and set it equal to threading dot thread. Now, once you make a thread, you actually need to pass in a target. And this is basically the job or work that it needs to do. So we're going to make a function later on called work, but for right now, that's its job. So we're going to make a thread called T and it's going to do whatever we tell it to. Now, another thing that I just want to specify is for daemon set this equal to true. So whenever we do this, this means that this thread, which is basically a mini program, it's going to die whenever our main program exits. If we would set this equal to false, then we can actually quit out of our main program and have this keep running in the background. But I don't want to do that. I want to say, if we ever decide to stop the script, then we don't have any weird crap running in the background. So just keep that equal to true. And then you just start it off. So what we did is we created two threads and they're both going to do the same function and we'll specify the differences in this function. And then we said, okay, go. That's basically what we're doing. All right. So now that we have the workers, actually, let me go ahead and before we make this work, I want to show you guys how to create the jobs. So I'll say each list item uh, is a new job. Now what we do is this. I'll say uh, define create jobs. All right. So I'll say for X in job number, what I want to do is I want to add it to the queue. So queue put X. And I want to do queue.join. All right. So basically, our jobs are this job one and job two. Oops, didn't mean to move that. All right. Now, this is just so I can explain it and it helps me think about threads, but basically what's going to happen is every time we create a new thread, it's going to get the next item in the queue and this is the job queue. So this is pretty much for me, 
but this is what the threads actually look at. So we're gonna loop through this list and we're gonna add one to the queue, then two to the queue. So each thread is just gonna go through that queue, which is basically a to-do list and handle it however we tell it to. So right now, it's gonna look at one and be like, uh, okay, I see job one. What the heck do you want me to do with this? Just, you know, so that is where we need to define work. And I'll just write this. So the point of work is just do the next job in the queue. And I'll say, uh, one handles connections. Uh, the other uh, sends commands. So those are the two jobs. And what we're gonna do is this. So we're just gonna say while true, what we wanna do is just get the next item from the to-do list. So that queue, we just wanna call get. So the first time this loops through, x is gonna be equal to one. The next time it's gonna be equal to two because we only have two jobs. So we only need a test for those. So if x is equal to one, then we just wanna create the socket bind it to the host and start accepting connections. All right, so actually you test X. All right, now another thing we wanna do is for the second thread or the second job, I probably should say, is all we're gonna do from here is start turtle. Now all of these other functions, send target commands, get target, those are all called from turtle. So we don't need to list those specifically. So whenever turtle starts, it pretty much just runs. Now, the last thing I wanna do is you should always call tasks done. So this basically signifies to your main thread that, hey, we're done taking care of everything. And that is if we decide to ever break all the connections and quit out of turtle, then it just says, hey, our main program is done. Um, you know, you can do something else, free up that memory. But basically, that's all we're doing. So in the videos before this, we created all the code to handle the connections, and then we created the code to pretty much control another computer. And in this tutorial, we created two threads, and then we said thread number one, this is how you handle the connection. Thread number two, this is the function that you have to call that allows us to actually connect to and control another computer. So right now, we're just converting the human readable list to the thread readable queue and boom, roasted. So two more lines of code. All we have to do is call create workers and that creates your threads and then create jobs. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done with server.py. So let me just clear up these blank lines of codes. All right, so we created the workers, created the jobs and once we have both of these created, then the threads are just automatically gonna start working. You don't need to say like, start working now. The threads are just gonna wait, and whenever they have jobs, they're just gonna start doing them. So there you go. We are now ready to move on to client.py, and we can actually run this on the server right now, and boom, look at that. It's running, good to go, no errors, looking cool. See you guys next time.